waiting for? So welcome to our humble police house. I can't possibly help you if you don't tell me what you need. <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, an electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what. I'll give you a permit, but it's going to cost you $100 in fees. Okay, well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen and unusual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Well, that was me thinking you was in a... Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine yeah. and the usual formalities. And what are they? Well, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fellow here, he seems sturdy enough and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and 
Immoral animal husbandry. What's that? Mine shudders. <laughs> Find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. Killer, not a turncoat. Your own brother? Somebody help me! Stay back or 
you'll be sorry. Take him down! Off this thing. <laughs> hey, friend, you do me a kindness and untie me. Please, I'm eating dirt here. Jesus, thank you. They had me mixed up with my brother. There's a high rolling poker game above the Saint Denis gunsmith. Hopefully, that can serve us.
got a special treat for you. You're your own jailkeeper, mister. In a prison of your own making. This is uh, very kind of you. Go, Take boy. me to damn cork, man. <clears throat> this ain't America. We ain't free no more. <clears throat> Can't raise no animals, take no wives. All I did was graze my livestock. Married them that needed marrying. And killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. <clears throat> it's you that's... <clears throat> Sounds like sour grapes. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you to kill you. Humane. <clears throat> No! Yeah. Well, he's gonna extract you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. Don't quite know what. 
I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in the animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike oh. livestock, Mr. McDaniels? I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared, and there was smoke in the air, the smell of burning hair. You know, there must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled, with strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, well, I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no, sir. It was lightning. The electricity does something, all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But, you know, hey. This electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, that must be an entirely different kind. Professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Here, oh, I got him. You're Come on! Oh, don't be shy now. Let's go. Oh, lay him over here. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well, once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along.
a brain problem? What's with the mask? Enjoy the show, if that's possible. It's a free show, so don't come ask. What's this show then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. Uh, you should know the artworks are not endorsed by Gallery. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very... That it's Greek. Hold, hold on. Let me That's far too modern oh, for my tastes. Could be Look at these idiots. Just a terror. It... Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Oh. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. The nerve on you. That's it. Oh, oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, hey. son of a bitch. Oh, you God. filthy little man. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on, horse. We're leaving. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. Oh. Oh. Come on. I think we are okay. The exhibition. What can you say? It was not boring. <laughs> that it was not. Let's go, boy. Talk to death people. Push them. I thought I was a fraud. A no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes to it. Come on.
I told you I was a whole ass. <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it could be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, it seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me! <laughs> Hi, dear. Me estás en cámara. still rolling from the road.
Jose? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, with a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Uh, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know. Uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. You arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta this mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is San Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. 
Si bad rich, he's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Le Mieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> Ok ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Sì. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Santa Cruz. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Have a wonderful night. Okay? Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose. You go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land, and that extends to Saint-Denis. 
It ain't complex, I'm you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me, cool off? Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. All right, okay, goddammit. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Monsieur? Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly well, in debt, but right we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh. 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 My lord, that's fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Did he say something about Cornwall? Yes. Find out what. Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terrible. The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. <sighs> have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight.
to Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. <laughs> <laughs>